here I have only one occurrence of this word but if I had if I was in another version of BI and I'm at the bottom and I start searching for this here okay and it was not found it will tell me that I have reached the end of the document and it will not cycle back and try searching from the beginning these are just some pitfalls that you have to watch out for in different versions of BI so if you want to say to search backward as we as we said we are searching from the start of this cursor the start position of the search is the start position of your cursor so if you want to search back you will use question mark instead of the slash so if we're searching for the word principal again okay yes it searched backwards and it took me all the long and all the way back to the line number 13 where the word principal is there okay so the slash and the question mark are very um, useful if you are in a version of VI that does not let you cycle the search and again cycle the search means that if you reach at the end of the document and it didn't find the search pattern it will automatically start from the beginning if you have a version of VI that does not do this you are gonna have to use the slash and the question mark in order to specify the direction of search you want to use manually now what if you want to do your search but you want to confine your search to just one line of text this will become very handy when you try to use this search technique to change and edit text obviously you may want to change text inside one line of text instead of globally in a document but let's say now that you want only to search for a word or a string or a pattern inside just one line so VI offers you two forms of searching one of them is to move to the um, next occurrence of the character the character here is C so you just press F followed by the character or a capital F in order to do the inverse it will search for the first occurrence of the C character in the previous uh, uh, text that was the, uh, pre the, the text that preceded the cursor uh, position and you can also use the T and the T will not position the cursor on the first occurrence of the uh, character you want but it will position the cursor on the character before it again this may be not very useful now if you want just if you're just searching for text but when you want to use these commands in maybe in later in this course when you see how to use these commands in when and, and combine it with the change uh, uh, commands like the C and the delete commands like the D and the copy commands like the yanking the Y etc you will find that it's very useful because sometimes you may want to to take the entire word till the uh, character that follows it for example if it's a dot or an, a, a punctuation mark for example or if you want to take just the word so placing the cursor before the next occurrence or the previous occurrence of a character may be useful in these techniques so let's see here how we can do this in our file so let's say we are standing here and we want to search for the first occurrence of the dot okay so you just place you just press F followed by the dot okay and as you can see the cursor moved to the first occurrence of the dot if you want to search backward for example on again for the dot you'll press F capital and dot and as you can see the cursor jumped to the last occurrence of the dot it's here let's say let's say we are searching for another character maybe maybe capital G okay as you can see it's very easy a okay let's search for P okay this is the first occurrence of P okay and let's see how we can search search for the, the character that is behind or before the character we're searching for so let's search again for the dot but this time we're using C using T sorry okay so if you press T followed by a dot it will place the cursor at the character before the first occurrence of the dot okay which is the Y and again if you want to do this in the inverse for example like this as you can see it placed the cursor in the the, uh, the character just just after the first occurrence of the dot when it's moving backwards okay and if you want to repeat this search in a forward direction you use the semicolon like this but since you were using it in a backward the last search was done backwards so we use the inverse 
which is this. Okay. So this is the for this is the, the forward and this is the backward. Let's uh, do it one more once more again in a forward manner first. So f y for example, I'm searching for y, and I'm going forward as you can see. But since this is the last occurrence of y in this line, it will not move any further. If I want to move backwards, like this, okay. So I am here searching for all the occurrences of the letter, the letter y until I reach it this word before which we do not have any y's okay any small y's if you have a look this is a capital y if you scan the rest of the line you will not find any small caps y okay so this is how you search for a text inside the same line and as usual we have to note that you can precede this uh, uh, command by a number in order to indicate how many times to execute let's have a very quick example for this so for example here Let's be at the uh, start of the line, and I want to print. I want to find the uh, occurrence of the D, but only the second occurrence. So it's two F D. So as you can see, it passed the first occurrence of D here, and it moved to the second occurrence, which is the D. And the same thing can be done in the reverse. Now we recall before that we said earlier in the in the, in the uh, previous lecture that you can use this command set N U in order to display the line numbers let's see that again we already set it set nu this is the command that lets these line numbers be present here to see where you are which line you are standing in but in case you don't want to use this command you can use another one which is control and g if you use control g you will find some statistics of the file in addition to the line number you are currently on. So this is this file is called new file the text and it was modified since the last uh, date it was opened. You are currently on line 9 of 81. This file contains 81 characters. You are at 11% of completing this file and you are at column 1 and column here means the uh, character you are on. We are at character 1 in line 9. So in case you don't want to, to display all these line numbers if it's distracting to you you can just use the control G on another line for example and control G will display the statistics of the file in addition to the line number you are currently in and the character you are currently editing or viewing now what if we moved or jumped from one line to another like for example we're at line 13 and suddenly wanted to move to line 5 okay but all of a sudden we realized that we did not want to move to that line we want to move back to where we were so pressing this line pressing this character twice will let you jump back to the exact position you were in before jumping let's do that again let's move to line 50 for example and recall where we were we were at line 13 now we are at line 50 and imagine we want to move back to where we were okay and yes we are at line 13 and in exact same location we were before jumping but what if you want if you don't want to be at the exact same location we want to be at the start of the line this is just a convenience method so let's move to line 60 for example and I want to move back to line 13, but this time at the start of the line and not at the exact location that I was in. So pressing this, its double colon, will move me to line 13, but not at this position, which I was in, but instead at the first character of the line. And finally, here is the cheat sheet that I told you I will leave at each section. These are all the commands that we used in this uh, section. These are all the movement commands, as you can see, the movement and the reposition command, in addition to all the other commands that you use to search for text and move by search, move inside the same line and jump to the line numbers. I hope you enjoyed this section and see you next.